Hello everyone, this is a tutorial for the windmill cube. Before learning how to solve this, you should know how to solve a 3x3 first, so that it will be easier to understand the concept needed to solve the windmill cube. The windmill cube is a 3x3 shape mod, meaning that it has the same method for a 3x3. There are two types of centerpieces, a flat one and a slanted one. The slanted one goes here, and this flat one goes here. Next, there are two types of edge pieces. A flat one like this with one color, and one that has two colors. This one goes here, and this one goes here. Lastly, there is only one type of corner piece, which goes here. For convenience, the cross should be solved on either yellow or white. To do this, Find a cross edge on the yellow layer, like this one, and you, because it's flipped, you want to move it to the side first, and make sure that this the center is also aligned, so that when you pull this down, it aligns with the edge piece. Then do F to solve the edge, like that. Then you carry on with the other pieces, for example, this one. So you would move it to the top layer, like this, and then move it so that it's on the orange face. And then you do this, F2 to align the center, and insert the cross piece, like this. And then you carry on for the other pieces, like this one, move the edge piece, then align the center, center piece, and insert the cross piece. And now, if it's already in the second layer, you want to take it out uh, like this and carry on solving, which in this case would also go like this. First, you need to learn four moves, which goes like this. R, U, R prime, U prime. To solve the corners, you want to find a white corner on the top layer. For example, this one. And you want to move it so that it's above the slot where it needs to go. So not here, but here, like so. And then you want to do the four moves until the corner is solved, like this. Like that. Then you want to carry on for the other corners, like this one. So you put it above the right slot and you do the four moves until the corner is solved. Like that. If there is a case where the corner is already in the slot, just do the four moves to take it out, like this. And now you just solve it as normal, like this. And now for the last one, it's also in the spot. spot. So you do the four moves, and then now you solve it regularly. Like so. To start, Find an edge piece that on the top layer that doesn't have yellow, like this one, and match it so that the color is the same. And now you look at the edge. If it's pointing up like this one, you move it to the right like this, and then do the left hand four moves, which is the same but mirrored. L prime, U prime, L, U. After you do that, you do a Q rotation, and now do the right hand four moves, which goes like this. So that this edge is solved. Now you carry on for the other edges. Again, find an edge piece on the top layer that doesn't have yellow, like this one. And because it's standing up like this, you want it to move it to the right like this. And then you do the left hand four moves, Q rotation, right hand four moves. And now, for the next one, this one, you do the same thing. This goes on to the right, left hand, cube rotation, right hand. And now for the final one, this isn't facing upwards, it's flat. So instead, you want to move it to the other color that's meant to go, and then move it to the right, left. 
and then do the right hand full moves. Shoe position this way, and then left hand full moves. There we go. There are four different cases for this. Either the edges are solved, there's a line on top, there's an L on top, or there's a dot. If you get a line on top, you do this algorithm, F, the four moves, F prime. If you get a small L on the top layer, you put it like this, and then you do the second case, which goes like F, four moves, F prime, and then you would do the first case, which goes like this. If you get the dot case, you hold it anywhere and then do F, four moves, F prime. And then you would do the second one, which goes like F, four moves, F prime. And then you do the first case. After that step, you need to solve as many of the edges as you can by turning with just the top layer. So you turn it once, only one edge is solved, and turn it again, and now two edges are solved. Now you put you have to put one on the back, one at the right, and do a soon, which goes like this. R U R prime U R U two R prime. And then when you try to realign the edges again, they are all solved. This one, this one, this one, and this one. If you get a case where two edges aren't solved, but they're opposite each other, do the suit from anywhere, like this. And now when you realign the edges, these two are solved. And then you do it again. And then, there we go, edges are solved. You need to find the corner that's in the right place first. Not this one, not this one, not this one, but this one. So you put it at the front right, like this, and then you need to do this algorithm, which goes like U, R, U prime, L prime, and then you do the same thing, but all downwards, like this. U, R prime, U prime, L, which moves the corners around. If the corners aren't in the right place, you do it again, which goes like this. And now the corners should be in the right place. To do this, you need to put the yellow on the bottom and do the four moves until this corner is solved. So once that's not solved, Twice, it's still not solved. Three times, four times, and now it's solved. Now, <clears throat> be careful not to turn the whole cube to move on to the next corner, because that would just mess up the whole cube. Instead, you want to turn the bottom layer only, which goes like this, and then do the four moves until the corner is solved. Still not solved. Still not solved. And now it's solved. And now turn the bottom layer to move on to the last corner. Once, twice, three times, and four times. And then you have solved the cube.